You cannot decarbonize the industry without the use of excess heat. My name is Drew Turner, and I'm Global Head of Sector Integration here at Danfoss. Excess heat is the rejection of heat via a mechanical cooling system or just a heat rejection system for, from, for example, an industrial process. And we consider it to be the world's largest untapped potential energy source. So uh, any industrial process where you're cooling the process, you have to cool something. And any cooling is just rejecting heat. And so industrial processes where you're cooling the process either at a lower temperature or medium temperature or higher temperature, they're all basically doing the same thing, which is moving heat. And so the whole idea is to capture that heat that is otherwise being rejected through that process removal. The first opportunity with any excess rejected heat is to utilize it in the same processes or in the same facilities where it's already being rejected. Because significantly what you find out when you dig into the processes in industrial applications is that there's a lot of cooling and heating within the same facility. And so the biggest opportunity is to replace that heating that is today coming from a fossil fuel source with recovered heat from a cooling or a heat rejection process in that same facility. The next is really to use it for someone externally. And uh, that can be anyone from a greenhouse to an office building, uh, to a district energy system. The purpose is the same. You, you're basically recovering heat from a cooling or heating process rejection to electrify the heating system downstream at an internal or an external facility and replace those fossil fuel sources that they've historically utilized. Uh, to reutilize excess heat, the first key is to get it to a hydronic system because a uh, hydronic or water-based system is the ultimate energy transport mechanism. The second factor becomes whether or not it's at the temperature or quality that you need it to be to reuse it. More than likely it's not going to be at the temperature or quality. That in turn means that you're going to need a heat pump in there. Optimally, you have a true symbiosis application where your heat rejection temperature is actually at a higher temperature or quality than the reuse or the secondary uh, side where you need to reuse it. And in that case, it, it's just basically heat exchange and heat transfer. And then the hydronic system components, including the valves, the controls, the heat exchangers, et cetera, to get it to the location where it's needed. So the first thing that we wanted to do in, the, in demonstrating the potential of capturing excess heat is demonstrate it with the systems that we can implement at our own facilities. So for example, here at the Danfoss headquarters, we have this heat pump, which is cooling the data center that's also behind me and then recovering the heat via the heat pump to the dish campus energy system. And then over across the street, we have the bi-directional heat transfer station, which is exchanging energy when we have a surplus coming from the data center and other sources to the local district energy system. And then when we don't have as much as we need, we also can get it from that district energy system. The number one barrier to significantly utilizing excess heat is just making sure that the industrial facilities, especially the industrial facilities, uh, are familiar with the opportunity. It's also a familiarizing the, uh, the customers of the industries with the economic potential for it. So from our experience, every uh, heat recovery or excess heat recovery project that we've worked on in general is gonna have less than a three year payback. The third barrier to uh, utilize, significantly utilizing additional excess heat is if there isn't the potential to utilize that same excess heat in the customer's own facility, familiarizing them with the opportunity and uh, uh, removing the barriers to providing that energy to somebody externally. Uh, it's absolutely critical from our perspective to capture the uh, opportunity of excess heat, from, especially from industry, because it's an enormous amount of heat that's being rejected from processes today. In our view, you cannot decarbonize the industry without the use of excess heat. Visit danfoss.com to learn more about Decarbonization Explained and how we can partner together to decarbonize. <laughs>